hey gems welcome back to my channel so I've noticed that I've gained quite a few subscribers and if you've been subscribed to my channel since day one since I started this I think back in 2017 you know that I've kind of been all over the place in terms of the type of content that I post well I figured why not post this video to give my new subscribers some insight about myself and to I guess make some clarification to my day one subscribers about what to expect going forward. So, allow me to reintroduce myself. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is, my name is Jahila. I'm gonna put it up somewhere on the screen so that you all can see how it's spelled because people mispronounce my name all the time and call me all kind of weird stuff. But it's Jahila. Very simple. Jahila. I don't even know how people messes that up. And most of my friends call me Ja and a lot of people call me Empress. Hence the name Ja Empress on my YouTube channel and most of my social media handles. I am a mama of three beautiful spirits, three beautiful little boys who chose me as their portal to enter this physical existence. And I am truly grateful for each and every one of them because every last one of my pregnancies and birth has stripped people and things away from me that no longer serve me and has driven me closer to walking in my divine purpose and each one of my boys have taught me something about myself and is continuing to teach me things about myself so I am very grateful for them and there is no way I could be the me I am today without them some of you may or may not know that I recently left an 11 year long relationship with the father of my children due to many reasons but the main reason being physical and sexual abuse as much as i share about my life on social media there's a whole lot more that i don't share in fact i probably share less than a fraction of my life on these platforms so i guess i'm kind of like the most transparent private person you will meet because i am transparent when i do share about whatever it is i'm sharing but there's a lot that I don't share because I stand by the fact that not everything is for social media. So there's a lot of things that I just prefer to keep private. And what I do choose to share, I share because I want to encourage, inspire, and support others. So there's good intentions behind everything that I do choose to share. So more about me. I was born and raised on the beautiful island of St. Croix. However, I've lived in Israel for five years. I've lived in Florida. I've even lived in Texas for a very short time. And um, yeah, I lived in Florida for four years, not counting the years I went to college. So if you count that, it'll probably be like seven years. I don't know. I don't think the years I went to college count. Anyways, <laughs> I digress. I lived in Florida for four years, not, not counting the years I went to college. I lived in Texas for like six months. I don't know if to count that. And I lived in Israel for five years, much when I was much younger, I think from the age of eight to 12 or so. And um, I lived in Ghana. That's the last place I've recently lived. I lived in Ghana for nine months. And um, now I'm back home on St. Croix with my family and I'm so grateful. So I turned 30 this year. It's been the best solar return thus far. And uh, unlike a lot of other women who do, like dread turning 30 or don't like to say their age I am proud to say I'm 30 I was like I was looking forward to turning 30 and so far this chapter so far has been so great to me so I'm just looking forward to what I'm looking forward to what my 30s is gonna bring me cuz all I'm seeing is abundance so far I am a Gemini I'm a Gemini Sun moon and mercury okay and if you're into astrology and if you know your natal chart you know exactly what that means um because i'm a gemini sun moon and mercury it kind of like for me i'm kind of like a sign okay i know gemini's get a bad rap you know like not a lot of people like gemini's but i recently had a reading with an astrologist big up to deidra because she's like bomb she was like you're kind of like a sign in it. like you're your own sign because of how because of the day and time I was born I can't get into all of that all I know is that I am NOT your typical Gemini okay and no offense to any other Gemini's out there because I love them personally but 
I'm a little different and I'm happy to say that because I'm a Gemini Sun Moon and Mercury communication is very important to me like if you cannot communicate effectively you can end up on my shit list very quickly eventually I'm just gonna limit my interactions with you and no offense to you you haven't learned how to communicate good yet fine but I personally am always working on my communication and it's very important to me to communicate effectively so if you can't do that and you're not trying to do better I'm gonna eventually limit my interactions with you for my own mental sanity anyways back to more <laughs> details so I enjoy my own company I am definitely an introvert at its finest I'm an island girl to the core in the sense that I refuse to live anywhere ever again that does not have easy access to the beach okay the beach is my happy place is where I go to feel at ease is where I go to just if I'm feeling overwhelmed or stressed I go to the beach to just take some deep breaths enjoy some vitamin D and some vitamin C and just recover okay so I refuse to ever live anywhere again that do not have easy access to the beach one and have good quality beaches because not every beach is created equal and I can say that because I've lived in Florida so a lot of people don't know this but I do have a master degree in accounting but I don't use it because when I was working in my field I was completely miserable that's another thing that I learned about myself through my first pregnancy and um, I don't regret going to college because I do think that was part of my journey and that has helped mold and shape me into who I am today but um, I don't see myself ever working in the accounting field permanently ever ever again what else can I say favorite color y'all want to know my favorite color I don't exactly have a favorite color but I do love earth tone colors and then I love feminine colors like blush pink and I love gold like I'm like I love gold as you can see like I'm always wearing gold real or not I'm wearing gold I do not own I don't think I own any silver jewelry no I lie I do own <laughs> one silver jewelry which is a ring and it's a ring that my best friend bought me for my birthday like years ago and it's the only silver ring I ever wear so um, yeah I love gold I love crystals as you can see I am always wearing crystals these are crystals my sister made these jewelry this is this is a moonstone this is colorful tourmaline and this is labradorite and amazonite I have lapis lazuli I have citrine I have crystals all in my hair y'all like I love crystals and this is a Maldivite stone genuine grade a Maldivite stone okay and I have crystals on my waist beads I am always adorned in crystals because I just I have many reasons why I wear crystals but one of them is just for my own sanity and protection because I pick up on people energy very easily and I kind of take on that a lot so crystals is one of the things that kind of protects my energy protects my aura and um, I can be very sympathetic and empathetic with people especially in birth work so this is what kind of like keeps me grounded and keeps my energy and aura protected at all times okay do I have any more fun facts to share what I like to do on my spare time I love to do yoga on my spare time journal I now I'm just like reading a lot to I guess nourish my craft as an herbalist as a healer I love to just play music light candles burn my incense and sage and just vibe sometimes I am very chilled and laid back when it comes to what I do when I'm by myself in terms of like hanging out club scene like I did that I lived that in college but that lifestyle just don't serve me anymore and I have no desire to go to the club in heels and stand up in a dark cloud crowded sweaty smoky building like I just is I don't want to do it anymore 
so i'm just at a season in my life where i try Pretty much in a nutshell, I'm at a time in my life where I am learning to love myself in the most purest, most meaningful way possible. So as we know, like everybody's talking about soft girl season. So I think people misinterpret what it means to live a, a and uh, that's all soft girl season is just continuous self-love and self-care in every aspect and self Which, if we want to get technical, having a glass of wine is not self-care. It's actually a coping mechanism, but we're not going to get into that right now. Self-care is taking care of your body, eating healthy, exercising, drinking your water, getting sunshine. Self-care is getting that massage regularly, whether it's weekly or bi-weekly, to release all the stress and tensions that your body holds. Self-care is meditating, journaling, tapping into your highest self. Self-care is leaving that man who verbally, physically, and emotionally abuses you. Self-care is knowing that you are worthy of everything that you desire. Self-care is looking in the mirror and seeing God. Looking in the mirror and seeing a goddess. Self-care is knowing that your vitality is everything. At least for me. <laughs> With all of that being said, I just want everybody to know that I am sharing my healing journey because I want women to know that despite everything that you've been through or going through, you can take back your power and manifest the life of your dreams. If y'all listen to my intro, that's exactly what it says and that is exactly why I chose that song. Like as you all start to learn more and more about my story, a lot of you might be like, wow. What she went through is insane just wait till i share my story about how i had to leave ghana anyways my point is i want everyone to to i want to inspire others but i also want to share my story because i want y'all to see me elevate and know that you all can do the same trust me i cry i have my moments of feeling overwhelmed and discouraged but one thing i always do is rise back up and get shit done every time one thing i've done in the past consistently is allow people outside of myself to crush my confidence and keep me reserved and i did that for way too long like quite frankly i'd be selling myself short but that stops now i am tapping all the way into my goddess energy and y'all might get sick of me but i don't care because i am literally done selling myself short which brings me to another big part of my life. My passion, my purpose, my business. <laughs> Gem Solistic. So I started Gem Solistic in 2019. Gem actually has a double meaning. One of the meaning be one of the meaning being gem as in a gemstone but spelt with a J because we are sacred and precious as gemstones. So that's pretty much the meaning behind but one of the meanings behind that word in my business gem the second meaning is actually an acronym for my name ja empress i just took the j from ja and em from empress and it spells gem and i did that because my business is literally a reflection of me as i mentioned earlier i take my health very very seriously and womb wellness is extremely important to me which is why gem Solistic is more than just a skin care product line it's a lifestyle gem solistic lifestyle and womb wellness is about encouraging everyone to live a healthy natural and holistic lifestyle it covers mind body and spirit 
because when healing from a holistic standpoint you have to look at the whole not just the physical so on the gems holistic i have natural handmade non-toxic skincare and hair care products that you can actually trust i have a hundred percent organic herbal tea blends to help you heal i sell candles palo santo sage and will soon be adding some incense and some other holistic tools which can all be used to enhance your spiritual growth i also offer my holistic services as a certified doula a certified womb wellness specialist a certified yoga instructor and herbalist I'm also currently working on another project that I will be hopefully launching in September, either September or October, that will pretty much be a guide to help people transition into living that healthy, natural, holistic lifestyle. Because a lot of complaints that I get is that some people just say, I don't know where to start. So I am working on something to help you get started and I am so excited about it I can't wait I can't wait to launch it but anyways truth is I haven't been promoting my business the way I should okay I have not and you all some of you probably don't even know that I have a business because I barely bring it up on YouTube like I don't push my business the way I should but that stops now too one thing I know for sure and y'all could say I'm being cocky or whatever but one thing I know for sure is that my products are top tier my products are the best and my herbal teas are the best and they work because I know what I put into it and I know what I use to create my products and teas so I know they can be compared to nothing else in the market they can be compared to nothing you can go on Amazon or Walmart and buy so I'm about to start speaking life into myself and my business and if you get sick of me by all means you can unsubscribe or unfollow because let's be clear what I do what I offer what I create cannot be replicated by anyone anytime anywhere okay and no offense to any of the other skincare formulators out there but when I say this when I say this I mean this like my shit is different like my stuff cannot be compared to nothing else my energy is different my magic is intentional what I put into my creation and offerings is on a whole nother level and that's because this is more than just a business to me it's my life literally my life I am a walking reflection of my business I live what I preach okay and anybody that know me can attest to that I literally live what I preach so that's why what I do is different it's like I'm not even trying to be mean or you know bash anybody but what I do is different I mean if you want the affordable smell good stuff go to one of them other businesses by all means go to Walmart go to Amazon go to the other small skincare pop-ups but if you're about your healing if you prioritize your health on a whole nother level if you want trustworthy quality stuff come get you some gem holistic okay anyways so here's what you can expect on this channel going forward i'm always going to share any aspect of my personal journey that i am called to share you know i don't know what direction that's going to go in but i am always going to share something pertaining to my personal life in some capacity but i'll also be sharing informational videos about pregnancy about birth about labor about womb wellness about feminine care because that is part of the reflection of my business like womb wellness healthy living healthy lifestyle holistic living so i'll be sharing both another thing that i will be offering or sharing on this channel soon are yoga classes so i'll be sharing yoga flows that you can do right in the comfort of your home following along with me and um, because i'm getting a lot of questions about yoga lately and um, although i would like to start teaching again locally i haven't gotten there in that space yet you know i need to make connections and put myself out there to start doing that and i will eventually when that time comes but for now 
I am going to start recording yoga classes and posting it, posting them on my channel so that you can do it right in the comfort of your home until I get back out there and start teaching in person. So if any of what I just said sounds like something you'll be interested in, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell so that you're notified every time I upload a video. And if you are if you're already a subscriber and what I just said doesn't resonate with you, you're not feeling it, by all means you can unsubscri unsubscribe as well. But if you want me if you want to help grow my channel, um, I think I'm less than 300 subscribers away from 1k. <laughs> so if you want to help me reach that goal, go ahead and subscribe, share the video with people who um, may also be interested in what I share and tell them to subscribe as well. You can also follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. What else am I on? I'm on Snapchat, but I don't use it. So yeah, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. I'm gonna have all the links down below in the description box. So um, you all can follow me on all of my social media platforms. So that's about it for this long ass video, <laughs> you know. Um, journey with me as I heal, inspire, grow, and glow because the title of this chapter in my life is be the energy you want to attract be the energy you want to attract and for me that's goddess energy all 2023 and beyond that kind of rhymed goddess energy all 2023 and beyond okay one more thing i forgot to mention if you're not already subscribe to my website email list my website newsletter one you get 10 percent off your first order when you subscribe and two i am always sending out like exclusive offers and links to private videos like my email subscribers have perks that everybody else do not get so i highly recommend that you subscribe to my email list um, in fact just recently i shared a private link to my behind the scenes labor and birth video that I is not public on YouTube so even if you're subscribed to me you wouldn't see that video because it's private it's unlisted so I highly recommend that you click the link in the description box to my website and sign up subscribe to my email list so that you can enjoy those perks as well okay to all of my melanated women protect your womb by any means necessary and to everybody watching, protect your peace by any means necessary. I wish you all love, light, and prosperity. Y'all will see me in my next video. Peace.